Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another JVS movie review brought to you from the Middleburg Film Festival. This film here is a film that I didn't know was being made. I knew about the play. Um, I never saw the play, but I heard great things about the play, but I didn't know they were making this into a film. And this film is The Humans, and this is directed by Mr. Stephen Krem, who is also the guy, the guy who created the play, very weird there. And it stars Bernie Feinstein, Richard Jenkins, Jane Hodeshell, Amy Schumer, and Stephen Yang. And here's the synopsis. Set inside a pre-war duplex in downtown Manhattan, the humans follows the course of an evening in which the Blake family gathers to celebrate Thanksgiving. As darkness falls outside, the crumbling building and mysterious things go bump in the night as the family's tension rise to a boiling point. So let's first set this. Um, this entire film takes place in a New York duplex apartment, a duplex apartment that is really crappy, <laughs> but extremely spacious. But again, it's it's a film and it's New York, so you kind of get that at this point. But the entire film takes place in this apartment as this family gathers for Thanksgiving and... At first, when the film begins, it seems like this is just going to be a nice family drama, possibly a little comedy element to it, but just something to get through. As the film goes on, the film amazingly takes a turn dark and interjects a huge horror element into the film and not a sense of traditional horror elements what we think of, or at least modern day what we think of, which is slasher films or death or anything of that nature. It's like, no, it's the way uh, the director here heightens the tension with horror elements. And it it is it is creepy at times, the way he does it and the way he pulls it off. But I think it's made to pull you into the family even more. As we get uh, Steven and Bernie's character are a couple who finally got their new apartment. Their parents come down with their sister to spend this holiday with them. Immediately, you see that the parents are, are not happy that they're in this apartment, especially the father, played by Richard Jenkins, who also, if he's not a front runner for Best Supporting Actor for this film, I, I, could, I, I, I can't imagine anyone right now currently being better than him maybe woody norman from come on come on maybe up there with being better than him but it's going to be really really hard to beat uh richard here for best supporting actor as he plays a father who seems to be overly concerned about his daughter but also is harboring his own secret during this thanksgiving holiday and that's what this film is about it's about a family who loves each other but who are all hiding things that could lead to the destruction of other family members or themselves. And that's where you get the tension. That's when you get the great play in this film. That's where you get the need for horror elements to kick in here. Because sometimes it is certain shots that Steven picks up on where it's just the wall of the apartment and you see like stuff dripping from the wall. But the way he shoots it will be the exact same way in a horror movie, you would shoot it just before a monster pops out. But here, the monster is actually the humans in this duplex apartment. They are very representative of the monsters by them hiding the secrets that they're hiding and going through their lives the way that they are. Now, this is not an easy film to watch at times. It is just enough humor in it to really get you through some of the tougher scenes in this. But this is a, a family that really, at times, just goes for each other's necks in this film. And the way Stephen, who I think this is his directorial debut, it may be, the way he chooses to shoot certain scenes, the way he doesn't decide to do the close-up shot to really get the intensity of the moment, he does none of that. At times, some of the best dialogue happens off-camera. Like, it's one scene in particular where Jane Hodeshell's character is just like eating cheese dip at a table. And conversation is occurring to her where people are talking, but they're not showing them talking. They're just showing her. 
and not of a weird close-up angle, just a nice shot of her. But we can hear by the conversation around her, by just focusing on her, we see the impact of those people's words on her without it being unnecessarily close up to like, well, we need you to cry here. It's like, no, we can see the words as they're breaking her down. It is great the way that thing is done that way. At times it can be frustrating because again, it, it's a lot of distant shots in this film. But part of it is the ramp up detention in it. Part of it is the ramp up the heart element of it. And at times it may take certain people out of it, but the performances here by the cast is so good that it keeps you engaged the whole time. And while Richard is probably the, the standout here, uh, Jane Hattachelle's performance is also really, really great here. The parents really are amazing in this film. And then you get uh, Bernie Feinstein and Amy Schumer who come in with the perfect brand of humor to make this film work. And again, it's just a family having these stories, telling these stories. And then as the secrets come out, it really ramps up everything. And it brings in so many emotions because at times they are cutting extremely deep with their words. And you're wondering as you're watching this film, how is this family going to survive this Thanksgiving if all of this stuff comes out with all this true emotion coming out, how does it affect you moving forward? Along with, if you didn't know any better, you a swear monster at times, <clears throat> was about to pop out <laughs> because of the way they ramp up the horror element of it, which made me in the first place check out the humans because it was pitched as a dramatic horror. And I said, that seems interesting here. But when you get in and you see it, it, while there are huge horror elements in it and the horror elements work, this is clearly just a comedic, dark drama that works well. One of my favorite movies from the festival. So, The Humans, brought to you by the Middleburg Film Festival. Out of a possible 10, I'm giving The Humans an 8.5 out of 10. This is a great family drama. And interjecting for a person like me who loves horror, to put those elements into this story works really well. Richard Jenkins knocks this role out of the park. Jane Hottishell, who I think she won, she may have won a Tony for this. I think so. Not 100% sure, but I think she won a Tony for this. She's great in this too. Like, the two elder statesmen of the cast really push this film forward. And at times, they don't even have to say anything. It's scenes of the film where Richard is just looking out the window. And he's looking at his surroundings and you can see the worry over his face. We don't know at the time what the worry is. When we find out what it is and the huge bombshell is dropped, it really just just ruptures this movie completely in a good way. And it, it leaves you as the audience also broken. And that's great filmmaking and great acting. So this is definitely something you have to see. So... Please check it out when it drops. The Humans, brought to you by the Middleburg Film Festival. This has been another JVS Movie Review. Peace, people.